to Jen Loves Nursing. My name is Jen and I'm a nursing student. Today I want to talk to you guys or I wanted to give you a couple tips and tricks on how I stay healthy and ha happy in nursing school with the preface of just so you know with more of a disclaimer um, happiness is what you make it. I wake up every morning and I choose to be happy and that's just all there is to it. Nursing school is hard it requires uh, a ton of diligence, responsibility, time management, and these are just things that if you don't have beforehand, you need to acquire because it's your ship is going to sink quick. Um, but I have a few tips and tricks that I use to help me stay healthy and happy while in nursing school, so I'm just going to go jump right into it. So the first thing I do, the first thing that I, I truly, kitty, it's okay, my kitty's meowing, the first thing I do every single day when I wake up, okay, let me start by saying, you cannot miss class. The worst thing you can do to yourself is miss a theory day. No, actually, I take that back. The worst thing you can do to yourself is miss a clinical day. In my program, one clinical hour is the equivalent of five hours. So if you miss one clinical hour, you have to make up five hours essentially and you have to do it on your day off and or whenever the the instructor chooses to go back to the hospital with you on a separate occasion and you have to pay for those extra hours like it's like $45 an hour so it's not worth it in my opinion be there okay so what if you're sick well the whole point is to prevent 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 and the best way in my opinion to prevent illness is vitamins that's all there is to it so I got this little this little thing you can see right here um, it's just like a like a like a Sunday through Saturday morning through bedtime I don't really take them that way basically mine's broken down by I take these two together and I take these two together so today's Monday you can tell that I just took well earlier today I just took my first set of vitamins and I will break these down for you. I got this thing at the dollar, like seriously, the dollar, the dollar store. It's the best thing ever. I keep it in my trunk, and that way, whenever I'm ready to take my meds, it's not only my meds, it's my vitamins. They're there. Okay. So, the alternative to me carrying this thing around, okay, this is the alternative. So I take a probiotic, take a probiotic twice a day. I take echinacea twice a day, echinacea, twice a day. Um, I take ginseng twice a day. Okay, so let me go back. Probiotic is digest, di digestive support, which in my opinion is super, super important. I suffer from gallstones, so um, I, not that this necessarily helps that, but I just like to be, <sighs> I just like to be regular <laughs> and this really aids in regularity and really this is um this is a good brand this is a good one i think this is like off brand but it's all the same ingredients there's another one that i use called in sync that i really really like echinacea and gold seal echinacea is immune support this okay the reason i started taking this the reason i started taking this is because there is a um a student in my class who works with a lady who takes this work Okay, there's a student in my class who takes this religiously, but then she also works with a woman who has taken echinacea twice a day for 50 years and literally has not been sick in 50 years. So my student, my classmate, my friend lives by this, and I I do too. I do too now. So I start taking it. Start taking it. Um, I also do this this Nature Made Skin Beauty and Wellness Pack. Okay, so in this little pack. It comes in a little pack like this, and I separate them. I separate the pack, and I put them in my little pack. But in this little pack, in, oops, there we go. In this little pack, there is biotin, which is a vitamin D that supports healthy hair, skin, and nails. Lycopene, which is an antioxidant that's just, it's really good for skin health, I guess. Remember, this is women's blend. So if you're a man, they have men's blends out there as well. There's vitamin C, which is an antioxidant that supports collagen synthesis and a complete multivitamin for women. Um, the only thing that I don't have here that I know is in my cabinet somewhere 
is uh, emergency. I do take emergency like pretty regularly. And I know you're probably thinking, well, there's vitamin C in this pack. Well, vitamin C is water soluble. You'll just urinate it out. So I'm not overdosing on vitamin C, but you have to, you have to be careful with your vitamins. You can take too much of something. So if you have any questions, your pharmacist is always there to assist you. That that's literally who I go to. Um, you know, can I take, can I take this one with this one? And they they will tell me, yes, you can, or no, you can't. But that's the alternative. The alternative is carrying all this, all this, or just this little, this little guy, and it keeps me organized, and I'm not, you know, dishing out pills all over the place, and it saves room in my purse and in my, um, and in my backpack. The next thing I think we all need for nursing school is Excedrin, migraine, Excedrin for migraine. Let's kind of turn this a little bit. Excedrin for migraine. We go in here. There we go. Um, this is a lifesaver. I honestly think Excedrin works better than. Uh, sorry, the light's kind of off right now because it's getting evening. I think Excedrin works better. I think Excedrin works better than narcotics at some point. Okay, literally, narcotics don't work as well as Excedrin, but you have to take it on the first set of of migraine pain. Okay, next. Get sick. So there are a lot of students in my class who get sick a lot and they don't take their vitamins. And that's that's their deal. And I've told them, in fact, I get made fun of it. I take so many vitamins. My friend Jade is like, I saw a Pinterest that, you know, said these two vitamins help with these two vitamins and they create this response. And I'm like, oh, so awesome. So Pinterest is a really good spot to look to. But a lot of my students, and the other thing I don't have here is they carry around cough drops and tissues literally in their bag. That's sad. Prevention is key. I'm not kidding you. You are not going to want to come to school feeling like crap. And you're not going to want to, how can you study if you feel like crap? So the key is prevention. I, I swear by vitamins. I swear by them. I don't get sick. I don't get sick. This is wood. It's like plywood. I'm moving in a week. This is my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen, but I'm moving in a week. We are. Um, I literally don't get sick. And the one week, I got sick two weeks ago, like a week and a half ago, and it's literally because I ran out of my vitamins. And the second I started taking them again, they were gone. It was gone. Like I started getting better almost immediately. Um, the next thing I want to say that I think you need is hand sanitizer. This is an obvi. Like you, whether this be at clinical or actually, I think you need it more in, in theory because my classroom doesn't really have access to this, but I keep one, a little, a miniature one of these. This is Purell. I think Purell works the best. I got this at the dollar or two. Um, I keep a mini, like a half, like even like a quarter size of this bottle in my pocket for clinical. Just that you never know. You never know when hy hand hygiene is necessary and you're not available. Nothing's available for you to do hand hygiene. So hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Okay. Um, another thing, uh, disinfecting wipes. This is Kirkland brand disinfecting wipes. I keep these in my trunk. You want to know why? Because I don't want VRE. I don't want staff. I don't want any of that to come in my house. And I don't want it to go into my carpet where my kids play or my animals are. Or I, I don't want that in my house. So I literally get to my car from being at the hospital. I pull one of these bad boys out. I clean my shoes really well, the best I can. And um, I put a new pair. I have like a pair of tennis shoes that I keep in my car that I put on after clinical is done. And those are just my clinical shoes. I also have a separate pair of shoes just for, we have to wear white shoes period, but I have a separate pair of white shoes for theory. Okay, so disinfecting wipes. Um, I have an all white, I have an all white clinical top. So this has saved me literally a ton of times. Um, it's tied to go. This, I keep it in my pocket at clinical, and whether it's snack or lunch or whatever, it has saved me multiple times. And in my in my six weeks of clinical, this has saved me multiple times already, so I recommend this. And um, although I do have, I haven't used this one yet, but I got, I've got i gotten it. Um, this, is, this is a new one. I haven't used this one yet. Um, but my pants, we wear white tops and navy blue, like this color, like this color pants. And so I have a cat. Cat hair gets on everything, anything, fur, just look how much hair I have, dude. I shed, I shed, I'm a human, I shed. So these are really good for just kind of, my, my school really wants you to look your best. 
Um, no excess of makeup, your hair. In fact, she calls it the bun of knowledge because she wants you to have your hair up out of your face, no hair dangling down. Um, it's a really professional environment. In fact, we, we incur, we see other schools come in that look, oh, well, they have nail polish on and you know, that's, that's cool if that's what you do. Um, that's great. But my school doesn't allow it. And I'm, I'm actually very thankful because I would rather look like, um, little Betty, little Betty nurse than like, I just came out of a club, especially, you know, you're, this is a professional, this is a professional, um, school. You, you are, you are becoming a professional. You're learning how to be a professional, a clinician, a healthcare provider. Let's be professional guys. This, this helps aid in that. I forgot one thing. One second. Uno momento. Oh, this, it's called Solvit. It's like ammonia base. It's laundry stain remover. I can't find anything that can get anything out of my white scrub top. But I tell you, this says it removes blood, grease, ink, beverage, food, grass, perspiration, and most other things. I can tell you, I'm talking fast, sorry guys. I can tell you it most definitely gets rid of ink, blood, and um, ink, blood, and makeup, like I get, I get a makeup line around my collar, it removes that as well. I live by that. Okay, <sighs> micro shield, CPR micro shield. I've never used this, but in the event of, I carry this with me at clinical as well. What better time to carry it with you than at clinical? I mean, that's the place where you might have to do CPR. This basically, it's a little doodad that protects you. You know, we are clinicians. We. Um, do not, we are not supposed to discriminate against our clients and that means delivering health when necessary, but I do have a right to be protected. Um, so this is, I carry this with me and I, I've never had to use it. Like I said, I've never done CPR in the, the clinical setting before, but, um, in the event that it has to happen, I will have this guy with me at all times. So keep your CPR micro shield. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. I don't even know where I got mine, but you can find these on Amazon. Okay, Carmex. You, you are going to be needing this, okay? You are going to be in school the winter months. You are going to have time to take care of your skin and your health super well. So these are literally the bare basic things that you can do to take care of yourself. Vitamins, Carmex, keep yourself, you know, especially girls. We have the right to look nice still a little bit, right? Okay, so tabbies. These things are super important. Um, for, for my school anyways, when we go to clinical, we have our Cardex is like five pages long. The first page is the Cardex, the second page is all of our medications, and that medications page, each medication is broken down. And we have to put a tabby on, like let's say it's digoxin. Di digoxin is a blood pressure medication. What are you gonna do before you deliver a blood pr pressure medication? You are gonna check the blood pressure. So um, these little tabbies are super important, maybe to remind yourself, like I know that's digoxin, I'm going to, I'm gonna assess the blood pressure before I give it. These, I, I live by these. I live by these, okay, these. Um. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to make it not like a 20 minute video. This, these are my eye drops. I got these at the dollar. My husband thinks there's a difference. There's a total difference in like red eyes and these. I don't find it, I don't notice a difference, but you are gonna be like, you're gonna be studying late at night or you're gonna be waking up super, I have to be up at five o'clock in the morning to be at school by 6.30 and I was usually studying till like midnight. So you may need these. So this is on my list. Okay. You need, a, you need a secondhand watch. Um, I, whatever your school wants you to have, my school, it has to be plastic that can be hand, it has to be uh, dishwasher, not dishwasher safe. It has to be like hand washing safe. So, um, you know, no, no cloth. I suggest plastic that can get wet and I just want to slap myself um, because the fabric's gonna, you're gonna get all kinds of microbes in there and it's, it's just gonna be gross. It's gonna mold. Plastic, secondhand watch, you need one of these. How can you, not every room is gonna have, a, I mean, I would hope that most rooms are gonna have a secondhand clock in there, but come on, we're nurses now. Almost, right? Um, okay, um, I one thing that I don't have with me because it's in the mail is my secondhand, um, 
I'm sorry, I was just thinking about my second hand watch. One thing that I don't have with me because it's in the mail is my um, pulse ox. When you're at clinical, the two hardest things to find are going to be a pulse oximeter and a thermometer. So I have an axillary for when I work at the hospital, and um, I have a pulse ox in the mail. Get these. No joke. Y you can find you can find Stalox in a sniff quicker than you can find a pulse ox and a thermometer. That is no joke. Invest. Seriously, on, if you can go, you can go on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. In fact, you know what I'll do for you guys? I will link some cheap ones below. Everything that I have, I'll, I'll, I'll link it below for you guys. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So my school provided this, but um. Ooh, let's see how reactive your pupils are. Are they reactive to light? A pen light. You need this. You need to know if your pupils are reactive to light. Okay. A Sharpie, if you're changing a wound or putting up an IV bag, you need to, you know, initial and date that. Init I'm sorry, initial and time that, right, and date. Um, I, a black pen. So I have two favorite pens. This is my Theory pen. I love this, this Staples OptiFlow pen. But for clinical, I have to be able to write a lot in small spaces. So I use this, I don't even know what it's called, where it's from, but it writes teeny tiny. It just... This one kind of bleeds a little bit. So these are my two black pens. No blue, always black, right? Um, let's, sorry, I thought of some other things and here I'm back. Um, okay, so I totally got this pen at the dollar store. The dollar is my friend, I'm not even kidding. It is a multi, I mostly use it for the red or the multicolor. So when we're done with clinical, we have to show our clinical instructor our Cardex, our care plan and the assessment. She goes through with hers and X's out what she doesn't like, circles what she thinks she needs fixed, scribbles on it what we need to fix, what we need fixed, and then with another color, we have to go in and fix those mistakes and turn that card X in at the end of the week. Okay, so this I think is helpful. Okay, um, I brought okay. Obviously, all nursing students get like a Davis drug guide or some kind of drug guide from their school without saying, or in a Tabor. So I got a Davis drug guide in a Tabor, but that's not what I think you need. When you get these books, inside there should be a code to um, like, um, oops, oopsie. There should be a code to unlock the online access, and it's this book, but online. So it's like the search engine version of this book, and it is so, it saves so much time. I have my Tabers, I have my Davis Drug Guide, I have all my Lip and Cots books online, I have all my ATI books online. Do it. So that that's how you could stay happy in nursing school, because time management, right? Well, if we can get through things with time, here we go. So yes, this. I believe the website is webscape.com, but it's these foldable, um, these foldable clipboards and that I use for nursing school. Now, the thing I like most about these, I really wanted one of these until I got it, and it's really bulky. I mean, that's literally how thick it is in your pocket. I like, they have these specified for nurses, EMTs, physicians. And so it has all the nursing cheats on here, which I love. But at the 99 cent store, I found this one. It's thinner. It's the same size folded. You can get these stickers on Medscape and put them on your mini board for $9. So you're spending 10 bucks on a mini board. I don't mind folding my papers up. I'm going to start taking this one. I am going to go on Medscape and I'm going to order the stickers. These are just stickers already on here. I did get my name engraved on it. I will use it in the future. You probably can't even see that. I, I will use this in the future, but right now I'm okay with this one. And I'm going to go get the stick these stickers and just put them front and back. That's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. So this is not very hygienic, this tape right here, but it's on there. Sorry, pretend it's not on there. The reason I'm showing you my, my stethoscope is because most nursing programs provide a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff upon entry into your program. Depending on how much your tuition is, uh, depend, like, uh, for example, if you, I know that CBU, that's a, a university around here, 
uh, Cal Baptist University. They, it, the, the tuition's like $128,000. They give them like really nice flip and caught um, stethoscopes. Well, my tuition wasn't cheap by any means, but they did not include lip and cut stethoscopes. They weren't horrible stethoscopes. I mean, they're good enough to learn on, but I really, I don't know what I'm listening for. I'm a student, so I really want to hear it. So I got myself an ultrascope. I did an ultrascope review. It's one of my other videos. I'll link it below. Um, if you're interested, lifetime warranty on everything. Um, the best thing about this is the engraving and the custom customization customization of it. So get yourself a good. How are you going to know? How are you going to be able to auscultate and listen to the wheezing or the crackles or if you don't really know what you're listening to? So I really do suggest a nice stethoscope if you can afford it. If not, you know it's fine to have to have. Um, I'm a mess over here now. It's not exactly, it's not exactly, it doesn't look as nice as it did before. Okay, so the next thing I want to say is a Starbucks card. I think the second you get accepted in a nursing school, I think on the other end, you need to get a Starbucks card, the gold card specifically. So I've told the, I've told the girls in my classes so much, like we go to Starbucks so much just to study and you end up getting something that you might as well just start loading onto a card and earning those points because every, I'm not sponsored by Starbucks. I wish I was. Starbucks, I'm here. But every 12th drink is free. And I know that sounds like a lot, but when you're spending hours in Starbucks, not only that, but you get free refills for free with your gold card. If you have a gold card, you get free refills. Okay, so Starbucks card. And last but not least, I want to say a camera. Um, not for clinical, obviously, not for anything that has to do with patients, but you know, one day, one day, we will graduate, and my school does, like, a slideshow, so my hair's half up, half down, and it looks kind of funky right now, sorry, uh, my school does do, like, a slideshow, like, um, a year, a year and a glance kind of thing, and I've kind of elected myself as the person to take pictures. Obviously, let your fellow nursing school students know that you're taking their picture, but um, it, it's really good. It's 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 a really good way to keep those memories intact and to give them to your professor when the time comes for a little video montage of nursing school. And the very okay, that was the last thing. The very very last thing is this mini crock. It's a crock pot. It's a mini crock pot, no joke. I do not have an ac I do not have access to my um, to a microwave at my school. I no, it doesn't take long to drive to 7-Eleven. But if I want to study at school and I just I ha I only have an hour lunch break, um, only it's kind of a long time, right? But I'm in school all day long. You know, I'm in a, a program that's from 6:30 to 2:30 with an hour break in the middle. I plug this in and I put my food in here. I plug it in an hour. Um, I plug it in an hour before I'm ready to eat lunch, and it's piping hot. It boils water. Um, I bring salmon and brown rice to school. I'm, I'm, it's easier for me to eat healthy because it's so tempting to want to eat out all the time when your peers want to eat out all the time. So it's easy to say, nope, I brought my lunch. Thanks. So, guys, these are just a few tips and tricks um, on how I have helped or things that I've acquired to, things that I found to be helpful while in nursing school, um, things that keep me healthy and happy, um, you know, kind of like the highlights, the most important things. That's, I'm making chicken for dinner. It's in the pot, it's boiling right now. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask here, okay? Um, the only other thing I wanna say is eat breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And besides that, Keep a snack, keep a snack in your clinical pocket. Here's some sunflower seeds. The other day I had dried mangoes. You know, sneak to the bathroom, wash your hands, eat it if you have to, keep that blood sugar normalized. And that's about it, guys. I really want to thank you guys for watching. I'm so humbled that there are actually people out there that care to watch about my nursing school journey. I would like to say that I'm officially in med surge now. I made an 85% on my pharmacology final and I passed my pharmacology practical with flying colors. Um, so I left the class with an 85 and I made an 85 in my final. I'm so happy with that. 
thank you, Lord. I'm so happy with that. You will not believe A students become B students in nursing school. Now, yes, there are some out there that are still really good, and I'm sure I'll do much better in other subjects, but pharmacology was so stinking hard. <laughs> and you know what? That's another thing. I kind of have, my school does um, some kind of a trick for converting like grains and grams and milligrams. I'm gonna ask my professor if I can if I can do a video on that because I think it'd be really helpful for you guys. Let me know if you're interested. Again guys, my name is Jen and I'm a nursing student and I do it because I love nursing. Keep on nursing. Bye.